Hello there, my name is Ismaus and today we're going to be looking at how to make an editable title sequence in Blender and uh, this is what we're going to be doing. Let's dive in and let's see how to do that and uh, before we just jump in into the project uh, let's first examine the project file uh, so that you can look at it. Uh, it's editable. Let me just uh, go somewhere like here and see. I can change this to uh, view text here and I can see it will have all the transition effects. How do you spell it? Um, up. Yay. Let's see. Yeah, so we're going to make it uh, kind of uh, easy to a uh, non destructive way of making titles like this and uh, if you want uh, the project file for this you can find it on my patreon page i'll be leaving a link in the description so let's get started and uh, start on the project so the first thing we want to do is uh, add a text so shift a let me see if i have my screen keys yep so shift a text i have to rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis so that it's facing the camera and we can also reorient uh, the camera by pressing uh, by going to the front orthographic view and then using Control alt 0 to move the camera and directly facing the text. I can reposition this, I can also view this directly in this view here. And uh, now we can choose what we want to use. Uh, I'm going to just add, let me center this. Uh, since I used top channel one on one on this, let me use my second channel here, Blender. Is it Blender Money? I forget my own channel, Blender Money, I think. Yeah. So scale it, center it, and then now we just need to choose a good a font for this. So I'll just navigate to my fonts. Okay. Let me find something more interesting than that. Yeah, let's use uh, this. Just call, just. Like that, maybe. make this I can use I think it's called uh, character spacing Something like that and now to make it to make the the glitch effect uh, we just have to go to the modifiers remember we don't want we don't want to convert this into a mesh because it will make it uneditable uh, so let's just add a modifier and uh, use the remesh modifier uh, this will just turn this into in, instead of using quotes it will now use uh yeah instead of using triangles it will now use quotes and uh, what you want to do is uh, play with the voxel size here uh, but uh, be very careful with how how small are this value you make how how you make this value uh, because uh blender tends to crash if you uh, make it so small so let me just save this before it crashes I'm just going to name it something generic so somewhere you can just use these numbers are uh, these arrows here until you find i think 0.2 will work fine if you go to too low uh blender will start cr will crash uh, so be be aware of that so, uh let me just do this, this do the same thing here add a remesh modifier and uh, think that is good enough you can see it's still editable so that's good and uh, now to animate to give it that glitch effect all you have to do is uh, animate this voxel uh, size 
So we can go to frame around 40, add a keyframe there, and uh, frame maybe 20 or frame 9. Uh, we can increase the value so that we don't see any of the meshes. We don't see the mesh anymore. Uh, we can also do the same here at around frame 60. You can add a keyframe for the voxel size, and then at frame around 30, you can give it a value of 1. Uh, that should take away all the I make sure you assign that keyframe as well. Now, if we play back, you can see how everything uh, fades in like a, a glitch effect. Yeah, something like that. Now, all you have to do is set up some lighting. Right, I already have some matches. This surface uh, from my from an asset pack I gave away. It's just a project file consisting of different. Uh, ground surfaces, so I think I can use uh, this one here. I uh, maybe, yeah, I think I can also include this text in there. Paste the ground here. I didn't want to spend too much time uh, explaining how to set up the materials for the ground because uh, the tutorial today is focused on uh, animating the text. Uh, let's see. You can see uh, this. Yes. Uh, Use a different font for this as well. Uh, let's find a more interesting font, a boxy font. Yeah, something like that. Yes. Now everything else is just uh, adding small bits for the lighting and everything. So uh, to make the lighting look uh, cooler like you see here. I, I added a volumetric object uh, For the to capture some volume light volumetric lighting. So just do that here Just get rid of this principal Principal volume so let me just reduce this And uh, Just make sure that world. I'm just also going to add an HRI image here, an environment image, just to make uh, my lighting a bit better. Should be good. Let's give it a light. Just want some small lights in the background there, like you see there, to be there to exist now. And uh, now I can give this an emissive material. Let's use an emissive shader, emission shader. If you're using if it render this, you can use bloom and uh, some screen space reflections and to have uh, the flow reflect like that. Now Just going to reduce the size of this and then reduce the strength of this as well. Yes, also reduce the distance as well. extra lights on this side I'll have these as area lights and uh, make them give them a nice color like that I'm going to turn on uh, pass out here so that I can see only what is in frame uh, you can make this you can add a little bit of detail uh, to your text here by adding a uh, grand map so just find an image here uh, grand map image like uh, this here and uh, use that as a volume as as transparent uh, transparent I'm just going to use object mapping here like that and uh, I can use I can mix these 
materials here and just connect this as the factor and uh, now I can add uh, since I'm using EV I need to set uh, the blend mode to alpha blend as to start seeing uh, the effect of this texture and uh, another thing I could do here is add a color ramp like so yes And uh, you can still change uh, the font if you want. Uh, something I usually like to experiment with is uh, just go in, just group all the lights into a, a new collection. And I just turn off each light one by one to see how each light is affecting uh, the scene and I see how I can adjust things. So now I can see that uh, this light is a bit extreme. So I'll go on and I reduce that or reposition it. Uh, so let's try something for like 500 and then have this up light here. Now I like this reflection. So what I'm going to do is turn this into an area light and uh, make it wider uh, so, so that we have a nice reflection there. And uh, can also rotate it on the x-axis so that that reflection is interrupted uh, by this here so by this animation and you can see now all we have to do now is animate the camera moving forward so i'll do that okay uh then you can add in uh, some particles I'm just going to borrow these here, paste them directly in, drag this here. And that to, to get rid, uh, to make the text disappear again, all you have to do is uh, set a keyframe where you want the text to still be around, so something like that and then move a few frames ahead and then set back the keyframe to one and then that should make the text disappear same with the second one uh, just add a keyframe there and uh, we can make a copy of these texts so that we can transition to something different so I'll just shift d to have another copy of this and uh, with that copy selected, I'll select all the keyframes and move them just a few frames ahead so that when this disappears, we get the new text appearing. I think I wanted to... Now we can rename this, we can change this text to whatever we want. So we just call this top channel 101. Think uh, that's much better. Yeah, so I'm going to do this a render and see how things come up, and uh, I'll show it after. Thank you for watching.